Single payment exceed thirty thousand. We are supposed to tax. Single payment cannot exceed thirty thousand. Whole year payment should not exceed one lakh. If it exceeded, then you are supposed to pay tax. Dividend from Indian company listed. Indian company is always what exempted. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with your stream first grade college, the temple of excellence. And now we are discussing your corporate tax planning session two of your unit seven, the unit called as your tax payments. Under this tax payment, there are two topics are covered. One will be your TDS, and one more topic is all about the advance tax. So we are going to discuss TDS in today's session. And in the previous session, we worked out all the percentages of TDS, and we worked out one problem on TDS. And in today's session, we'll work out again two more problems under TDS for your better understanding purpose. Your agenda is very simple. We work out on problems now. Problem number two from the following. Details of income compute TDS amount for each transaction. Like winning from puzzle eight thousand, lump sum payment to contractor X Limited rupees forty thousand, and dividend from company other than listed company fifty thousand, interest on security fifteen thousand, commission earned by insurance agent forty thousand, sale of building forty nine lakh. Withdraw from national savings certificate five thousand and your rent paid on building rupees sixty eight thousand per month. LIC amount paid to the policy holder it is two lakh and withdraw from premature employee provident fund is fifty three. Now please keep the chart so that you will understand what is the limit and what are the percentages. Now winning from puzzle it is eight thousand below ten thousand so it will be what. Exempt. Similarly, lump sum payment to contractor is forty thousand. What is the limit of lump sum payment? One lakh rupees. Remember, dividend from company other than listed company fifty thousand. It is above the limit because we have a limit. It exceeded the limit. Interest on security. So we have limit of ten thousand, but it is more than ten thousand. Commission earned by insurance agent forty thousand. So up to fifteen thousand, we have exemption, but above fifteen thousand, taxable. So similarly, your sale of building forty nine lakh, withdraw from national savings certificate five thousand, and rent paid on building sixty eight thousand. We have a limit of fifty thousand. Remember, it is above fifty thousand. So we are supposed to be calculate TDS. LIC amount is two lakh. And withdraw from premature provident fund. See what is the limit for provident fund? The provident fund limit is fifty thousand. But how much we have? We have fifty three thousand. We have more. So if you have more means, it is supposed to be taxed. It is supposed to be calculated TDS. Similarly, your solution part in this will go one by one. First one, remember, winning from. Puzzle. So, what is the lim uh, income? Eight thousand. Whether it is taxable or not? No, because it is below the limit. We call it as exempted. Next, lump sum payment of contractor is X Limited. Now, forty thousand is there. X Limited means what? Company. It is not individual. It is what? Company. Now, forty thousand into two percent, eight hundred. So. Thirty thousand we have limit, but here how much it is? Forty thousand. So they have mentioned that lump sum payment to a contractor to the X Limited. It is not clubbed income, only single payment. Single payment exceeds thirty thousand, we are supposed to tax. So here how much we have? We have forty thousand. We calculated two percent. Why? Because it is a company. So forty thousand into two percent, it is eight hundred. Then dividend from a company. So Like other than listed company, fifteen thousand, ten percent, thousand five hundred. So see the chart, you will get answer next. Commission earned by insurance agent, we have forty thousand at five percent. It is two thousand. Now interest on security. I'll go back to your question. 
it is 15,000. So at 10%, 1,500, they have calculated. Then sale of building, I'll go back to your answer. 49 lakh we have below limit. What is the limit? 50 lakh is the limit, but it is below 50 lakh. So what we are supposed to do? It is not tax. Hope you are clear. Yes. So 49 lakh below the limit. So we are not calculating any tax on this. Similarly, withdraw from national savings scheme. Uh, it is 5,000 rate of TDS. It is 5% and it is 500. 5,000 into 5%, 5 you will get how much? 500. So it is not 5%, it is 10%. So how much you will get? 500. Similarly, uh, saving scheme account and rent paid on building. Saving scheme is over. Rent is 68,000. So it will be how much? 3,400. So 68 on that 5%. Why we are calculating 5% means remember the rent limit is 50,000. This amount exceeded 50,000. This amount exceeded 50,000. So we are supposed to calculate at 5%. Now, once if it is done, what is the next one? LIC amount paid to the policy holder on company's maturity. So how much it is? 2 lakh and percentage is 10%. So it will be how much? 20,000. Next, withdraw from premature employee provident fund, the amount is 53 and if you calculate 10%, it will be 5,300. Hope you are clear. Keep the chart, then there won't be any confusions. So, just write the particulars, write income column, calculate percentage, you will get your TDS value. Hope you are clear. Yes. So please take screenshot of your first problem for the day. We'll go to the second problem. Problem number two. Your solution part. This is your solution part. Yes. So now we are doing your problem number three as well as last problem of the day. Now. From the following details of income, compute TDS amount for each transaction. In this, sale of land to the resident, rupees 55 lakh without furnishing the pan. Remember, so what is the limit? 50 lakh. At what price you sold? 55 lakh. So what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to calculate TDS. Compensation for acquisition of building 2 lakh 65,000. 2 lakh 50,000 is a limit, but you have more than 2 lakh 50, so it is taxable. Commission earned on sale of lottery ticket it is 12,000. So technical fees collected 35. See what is the limit? 30,000, but how much you have? 35, 5,000 more. So you are supposed to calculate TDS. Annual salary 4 lakh. As I told you, I'll show you how to calculate. So nothing but whatever income you have divided by 12. Not only your actual income, your actual uh, taxable income divided by 12. Winning from lottery 40,000 taxable. LIC payment 10 lakh taxable. Payment made to contractor Mr. B 20,000. Mr. B is what? Individual. However, the total payment for the financial year is 1,50,000. What is the total payment of whole year? Exceeded 1 lakh. Remember, you may get confusion like lump sum payment or total payment of complete year. Lump sum, it may be single payment also. Now, the whole financial year, it should not exceed 1 lakh. Single payment can be below 30,000. Remember that single payment cannot exceed 30,000. Whole year payment should not exceed 1 lakh. If it exceeded, then you are supposed to pay tax. Now, interest on bank deposit 6,000 below 10,000. Winning from card game, it is 12,000 above 10,000. Remember, if it is above 10,000, you are supposed to calculate TDS. Now, I'll go to the answer. Sale of land, 55 lakh. It is above 50 lakh. Yes. Percentage 20%. So 55 lakh into 20 percent, 1 lakh 10 thousand. Hope you are clear. And they have not furnished PAN. If there is no PAN number, then we are supposed to calculate 20 percent. Then 
compensation for acquisition of other source like it will be 265 at 10% 26500 you are supposed to calculate so what we are supposed to do is this 265 please write it here this 10% write it here 26500 you are supposed to write here hope you are clear yes next Commission earned on sale of lottery ticket. So it is 12,000. So what is the limit? 15,000 is the limit. How much you have? 12,000 below. So it will be 12,000 nil, nil, no calculations. Then technical fees collected 35,000. Above 30,000 is taxable at 10%, 3,500. Then annual net salary 4 lakh. Average rate, how much you will get now? 4 lakh divided by 12 months. Calculate how much you will get. 4 lakh divided by 12 months. 4 lakh divided by 12 months. You will get 33,333 is your TDS. So it will be 33,333. That will be your TDS value. Hope you are clear. Yes. Then winning from lottery, 40,000 of 30%, 30 it is 12,000. LIC payment, 1 lakh, 1%, 1 it is 1,000. So I'll go back to your question. LIC payment we have. So what is LIC payment to the policy holder? It is not 10 lakh, take it as 1 lakh. So 1 lakh into 1%, you will get 1,000. Next. Payment to contractor, it is 1,50,000 at 1%, 1,500. If you are giving to the company, 2%. If you are giving to the individual, 1%. This is done. Interest on bank deposit, 6,000 at nil rate at zero. Because we have limit of up to 10,000. If it is below 10,000, we are not supposed to calculate TDS. Winning from card game. 12,000 at 30% and 3,600. So we have up to 10,000, but it exceeded 10,000. So 12,000 into 30%, we are supposed to calculate your TDS of 30%, it will be 3,600. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now I'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take a screenshot. Your problem number three, your solution part. Yes. So we have one more problem for the day actually, two, three and four. We'll work out your problem number four also. Now, from the following details income compute TDS amount from each transaction. What will be your question? Like withdraw from EPF by an employee who has worked for three years, 60,000 furnished in PAN. See, if there is no furnishing PAN, tax rate will be 20% and so what is the limit? 50,000. How much you are withdrawing? 60,000. Now you are supposed to pay tax. Then dividend from unlisted company, 5,000. Remember, winning from, so unlisted, what is the limit? 2,500. Remember, winning from horse race, 20, above 10,000. Commission on insurance earned on agent, 18, above 15,000. Withdraw from national savings certificate, you have only 2000 here. Rent paid to building 540. So it is above the limit. Rent paid to landlord 60,000, above the limit. Per month you can, up to 50,000 is exempted. But here you have, how much you have? 60,000. Dividend from Indian company listed. Indian company is always what? Exempted. Winning from lottery, 1 lakh, above the limit. And interest on post office saving bank account is 12,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, withdraw from EPF, 60,000. We have not considered. Why? Because he worked only for three years. Now, second one, dividend from unlisted company is like 5,000, 10%, 500, your calculation. Winning from horse race, it is 20,000, 30%. And on 20,000, if you calculate 30%, it will be 6,000. And insurance commission, 18,000, 5%, it will be 900. 
and withdraw from NSS National Saving Certificate NSC it is so 2000 and it is within the limit itself rent paid to building 540,000 divided by 12 how much you will get 45,000 per month you will get what is the limit 50,000 so you will not get and one more rent paid it is 60,000 above the limit so calculate 5% 60,000 into 5 percent you will get 3,000 then dividend from Indian company listed so how much it is 3,000 but there is no tax because it is a Indian company dividend exempt winning from lottery so it is 1 lakh 30 percent 30,000 simple last one interest on post office 12,000 10 percent 1,200 these are the calculations you are supposed to remember and we have not considered PF, EPF. Why? Because it is only three years he worked. So even though it exceeded the limit, we are not supposed to consider as a previous payment. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, this is all about your calculation for your previous payment. So I'll go back to your previous uh, slide so that you can take screenshot. So your problem number four, your solution part. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Yes, please work out at your home the same problem so that you will understand better.